in the 1980s, they actually um, they organized and um, or the learners or learners from Namibia students from Namibia organized themselves and they set up a student organization called Nanso. Um, basically, now this is where they now started fighting for um, not physically fighting, but fighting for um, improved education systems and also the education back then was also taught in Africans because Africans was now the um, official language at that time so they started fighting for all this um, um, for English should be taught we should be taught in English and we should to be taught what we want to be taught not what they want us to be taught so yeah in the 80s this um, the, this organization had like a very big demonstration in um, starting from um, Katutura basically to hand over the petition to uh, to the current government but this was not well taken and there was a lot of um, fighting physical fighting within this um, uh, when the when the police was called so basically and now currently after independence the government actually and even back then the education was more of like a teacher centered approach where the teacher is the expert and knows everything and the learners are just empty containers to be filled with uh, knowledge and um, yeah, in the, after independence, the government actually, the, the, the current government, the Namibian government actually started moving away from um, the, the teacher centered approach into a learner centered approach now. And um, yeah, currently we have um, even school curriculums that we also follow. And these school curriculums are actually like revived every so often. So as like, as the need comes up um, to improve the teaching and um, learners also have access to this so that they know what what they should be taught and what they should not be taught and um, yeah so currently I think education has improved significantly even though there are some challenges um, in societies out there but I would say there has been quite a, a significant improve in terms of the education system and even now education is actually not only um, focused on um, outside and whatever there is also an Namibian perspective to it and I would say that um, yeah the current education system of course with its challenges but I would still say that it has improved and even though we don't only focus on Namibia we also have like especially in history for example I think they have like um, um, if you are from grade 8 to, um, to, grade, uh, to, grade, uh, to grade 10 they actually teach more of like the local history, but then they, from grade 11 to 12, this is where you go into now the world history. And um, yeah, so basically, I would say there has been quite a significant improve, um, improvement in the education system, and I am quite happy with it. And I think learners actually are now able to learn what they want to learn and not what they want to be. Uh, to be taught uh, what they what the, the government